YouTuber and TikTokers. I know I ain't got a bash on you. And I ain't got a hate on you. If you really are pro-Israel, vote for Trump. I mean, if you don't want to vote for Trump, that's okay. And if you don't like Israel and you're anti-Semitic and you're pro-Gaza, vote for Kamala Harris, guys. I've been watching the election. I've seen the poll rating and stuff. Trump is at 61%. Kamala has 39%. Her, her polls are going to draw faster. Watch. Watch it happen. The debate is not going to be good in her favor anyways. Not at all. This is on Fox News. September 4th, guys. Fox News law Donald J. Trump. That's going to make it even more easier for him. Joseph Sapiro and Kamala Harris, they've both done nothing. Nothing, guys. Literally, it's not that hard to look it up, guys. It's not. I know you hate it, but trust me. Come on. Ugh, excuse me. Kamala Harris does not like Israel. She said it in her speech multiple times. She's been flip-flopping around. She's not black. She's Indian. She has ancestors in Jamaica. There are slave owners, guys. That's not that hard to fight out, guys. Hey, I did my research. I did it all. I see it. I know it. You know, RFK Jr. would have been great, but he's a quitter. That's for sure. So if you're pro-Israel, then you might as well vote for Trump, though. He's the only one making sense. He's the only one doing something about it. He's the only one who cares. He's about to vote lower the tax and stuff. Come on, Harris, she's got to raise up tax. And I'm telling you, twerking at a Kamala Harris rally, that's not going to get you votes at all. Twerking does not get votes. Twerking will get you money at a strip club or a bar or anything else, but it doesn't win you votes. I also hate to admit it to you guys, but Kamala Harris locked up somebody for smoking weed. And she smokes weed herself. That's hypocritical, my friend. Really hypocritical. Uh, I love you guys all the same. But I ain't attacking nobody. I ain't attacking anybody. But I'm just saying the truth. The truth is the truth. Kamala Harris doesn't care about American people. What's even weird, you, you got a hat that says white dude for, for Harris. White women for Harris. That's actually racist. You. That's not going to gain you votes. You might as well have a hat that says black dude for Trump. Black women for Trump. I'm just saying. You don't want to focus against focus on race when it comes to election. You want to focus what's the real problem and how to solve it. How you tell people. And for some of you that might know about J.D. Vance, the guy who did a show called Hillbilly Algae. Algae. I think I pronounced it really. Check it out. It's an, that is an actual Netflix series. It, it's not about what you read next. I think. I, I don't know what's about, but I, I I seen the trailer. It does look good, to be honest. But here's the, the, the other thing, though. I, I still... I'm not hating on her. I'm, not, I'm just speaking the truth. I'd rather vote for somebody who's for my political belief. I rather vote for somebody who, because right now, I don't even vote for somebody who, who's a political belief, who believes same things I believe, 
But I ain't vote for somebody. I ain't voting for Trump because he's a dude. That's like, why will you vote for Kamala Harris because he's a boy? That's not the right way to do it. You know? Race doesn't even matter. It matters. The only thing it should matter is who you're really voting for. You know, because if you're going to vote for somebody, you better vote somebody who is for your belief, not against your belief, what you believe in. You know, don't vote for somebody who's going to raise up your tax. Don't vote for somebody who's going to make it harder and harder for you. It's the worst thing ever. You want to vote somebody that's going to lower your tax and make it easier? Go for somebody like Trump. So I'm not saying you should vote for Trump, but here's the thing. I, I don't mind having a woman president, but vote Kamala Harris is not the woman I would have voted for. She's more... I feel like she's more against my belief and... She's anti-Semitic. She doesn't talk about Israel. She talks about Gaza. That's all she talks about. In every campaign speech she does, in every rally she has, it's always end up being Gaza. She's not even focused on the real problem. And hey, it's okay. She's bashing on Trump. And say something that's probably true or isn't true. But here's the thing. Kamala Harris. Her father. Donald Harris. Yeah, he is Jamaican, but he ain't black. And her our great-grandfather, believe it or not, if you look at him up. Oh, I forget his first name was already. Sonson Brown. He was a slave owner in Jamaica. He he was a, a Jamaican slave owner. He owned white slave in Jamaica. He was an Irish slave owner. For Pete's sake. It goes that far. I, you don't believe me. Look her up. Look up her family tree. Look up her sister's family tree. I promise you, on the family side. On her father's side of the family. Her mother's side of the family are Indian. There's a video where she actually said she was Indian. She never said she was black. Until now. Oh, it's kind of weird. Look it on YouTube. It, it's there. She always been mentioned being Indian. I mean, I don't care if she's Indian or black. The problem is, you don't go around, flip flop around, and lie to people. Say who you are, who you are. Stick with it. Stick with it. It's perfect for you. You know? All politicians lies anyways, people. It's not that hard. I'd say it. Hell it is. But trust me. But if you're going to vote for somebody. Vote somebody who's. Who you think is going to do the good, do a good job. Vote for somebody. Who's also. That works with your belief. That actually. You know. You vote who you want to vote for. At the end. But hey, if you pro Gaza and vote somebody who thinks they're pro Israel, go right here. Vote Kamala Harris. If you want to vote pro Israel, vote for Trump. He's your guy. He says he's going to do it. He never lied before. But hey, you can hate him, love him. I don't care. So you vote for who you want to vote for, guys.